So, is that us here? I doubt it. There's no way that spineless little worm would show his face in a town with Viceritter presence. We came to Grenza Village because of the wealth of information available here. What do you mean? Grenza has been on the front lines of the war between the Viceritter and me. The town is awash with people, mostly travelers. Everything is traded here, including information. That's how life is here. All information, useless and invaluable, can be found here. Amelie, hurry and find your treasure. What? Me? If you know so much about this village, you should go. Hey, you there! Halt! Don't move a muscle! Oh no, they found us! Chalka, Hundred Knight, hide! You could just let me vaporize these losers. Just hide! I told you not to move! Too late. Hey, wait! Huh? They ran right by us. They must have been chasing someone else. But who? Let's go see. Chelka, stay hidden. Hundred Knight, keep an eye on her. What? Hey! You won't get away this time! Damn it! I'm not going down in a place like this! I'll keep them busy. You get Prince Sylvania forever! Your queen is dead, old man. This place belongs to the Vice Ritter. Shut up! Madam Prim will come back! Oh, they're from Primsylvania. Prim? Only one person is worthy of ruling all of us, and that's Lord Theodore. Now give it up! <laughs> there is no way I can stand idly by with that kind of vile chatter in the air. Ah! You're... Madam Prim! You're alive! <laughs> but of course... You think your queen would die that easily? <laughs> I'm so glad. Now, perhaps you can answer a question for me. Who is the rightful ruler of this land? <laughs> Lucky you talked your way out of that. Silence! It is your fault for putting me in such dire condition. No time for talk, you two. If those soldiers bring back up, we won't get off that easy. That won't happen. Only spineless soldiers are assigned to patrol around here. Wait! You're a holy Valkyrie! Why the hell are you with Madame Prim? It is all right, loyal citizen. This girl is my servant. Oh, I see! I should have expected that from you, Madam Prim! You're the servant! Choka, let it go. Would you be so kind as to tell us the situation here? I have been away from the world for a spell, and I need to reacquaint myself. There's an old safe house that we're using. Let's go there and I'll tell you everything. I see. So even in my absence, you are fighting in my name. <laughs> She's gonna cry! Make fun! We were badly outnumbered, so our only real option was guerrilla tactics. But we didn't let them have their way without a fight. 
Well, we can say that now, but the truth is, things were getting bad. We were about to lose hope. If he hadn't come, we would be chanting the Vicer Ritter Pledge of Allegiance right now. He? Addis, your aide, remember? Addis? What exactly did that coward do? He founded the Pennsylvania Bucktails to organize the fight against the invaders. Admittedly, he was shy and frightened at first. But even with his knees knocking together, he stood tall against those Vicer Ritter soldiers. It was touching. Before we knew it, he had everyone on board in the fight against the Vicer Ritter. Addis did this? I can scarcely believe it. When Addis finds out Madame Prim has returned, he'll jump for joy! Where is Addis now? He's in the desert prison up north, near your castle, Madame Prim. Not even the Vicer Ritter goes up there. The desert prison? The chamber of sand that Addis discovered during his excavation. I didn't think we'd get the information we needed in a place like this. <laughs> you doubted the virtue of my loyal subjects? <laughs> you were hiding from them earlier. I in any case, we should leave immediately. Can I leave this village in your charge, gentlemen? Of course. Those Vicerider guys are probably planning their retreat right now. We'll chase them down for you! I advise caution. Do not take unnecessary risks. It is better to strengthen our defenses here than pursue a retreating foe. <clears throat> really? Well, if you say so, Madam Prim. Thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. I will go to the desert prison and give Addis his reward of punishment. Tasteless furniture, it reeks of Addis's lack of aesthetic. It can't be! Hey! Y'all gonna come see this? Hey, what's going on? Oh, no way! It, it's the flower! The rose! Welcome home, Madam Prim. I, Addis, have been patiently awaiting your return. Addis, I thought you would be running about with your tail between your legs, but you have surprised me. Of course! You're irreplaceable to me, Madam Prim. <laughs> An attempt at flattery? It's not flattery at all. I feel it in my heart, Madam Prim. While you were gone, I tried having other women step on me. But it just didn't feel the same. It made me appreciate just how artistic and beautiful the way you stomped on me was. I've been waiting eagerly for your return, Madame Prim. Just when I was about to feel sorry for you, you pervy piece of shit. You want to get stomped on, huh? Take that! And that! And that! Ah! Oh, yes! Yes, that's exactly it! Yes! He's really enjoying that, isn't he? <sighs> you like that worm? 
You should lick my boots clean after you got them so filthy. Y yes, Madam Prim. You truly are the best. You're so harsh with me. I thought you were being loyal, but you're just horny. Pervert, pervert, pervert! How long are you gonna keep stepping on him? Hurry up and ask him where the hidden path to the Vice of Ritter headquarters is! I apologize. I had lost myself. Addis, you know, don't you? The secret passage to Vice of Ritter headquarters? Yeah, of course I do. It's how I got from Vice of Ritter territory all the way to Primsylvania. So there is an escape route. Behind every powerful group is a secret and hidden escape route. It never fails. By the way... Madam Prim, how did you end up with these people? I thought they were our enemies. And they're wanted, too. I do not need to explain myself to you. Hurry and show us the hidden path. Y yes Madam Prim! Right away! was right here. We were planning on using this path one day for a sneak attack on the Visa Ritter. It's why I made this place Resistance Headquarters. But then we heard that someone killed Lord Theodore, so we thought it was all for nothing. We are not yet sure if he is really dead. We're going to find that out, and acquire karma, of course. Oh, finally! you know about karma, too? Know about it? I'm the one who told Lord Theodore about karma. Theodore loved me after that. But the, uh, flames of jealousy got a little too hot after that. I had to leave. Lisa can be scary. Not just her. There were a lot of scary people around Lord Theodore. But Lord Theodore himself was the scariest. Even at the very end, I feel like I can never really tell what he was thinking, you know? Yeah, I think I do. Madam Prim, if you're going to Vice Ritter headquarters, be careful. And when you come back safely, please step on my face again. I will consider it. The scent in the air has changed. We must be close to the exit. We don't know exactly what Zofie's magic did to the inside. We should be careful. Do you know where they're holding Karma? Yes, it's at the very center. And you think that Fossil has the power to make my soul transfer magic work? The limit of its power is unknown. But of the three legendary eyes, karma is ideal for use on souls. Why do you say that? Addis told me that each of Rangda's eyes have a specific role. Role? Karma controls memory, Samsara controls destruction, and Nirvana controls creation. Memories are tied to our souls. Karma should be quite effective. It will also increase the power of my third eye. Are we at the center? I never knew there was a hidden path here. Karma. This is it. The Holy Maiden's Eye. Wait. Huh? I don't feel like I'm being sucked in like the other time. What do you mean? Are you telling me we came all this way for a fake? So good of you all to come. Lord Theodore! 
I regret to inform you that what you are looking for is already in my hands. Did you predict we would be coming? I predicted that if anyone would be so bold as to try to steal karma from me, it would be you fugitives. But now that you are here, I can be sure the hidden passageway is perfectly operational. I express my gratitude. <laughs> you sound real proud of yourself. You don't even realize you're screwed. I'll wipe that stupid smirk off your face and make karma mine. Wait, Chelka. Please tell me, Lord Theodore. Was the Vice Ritter created to cure witch disease? You already know, my child. There is no cure for that vile illness. Then what have we been risking our lives for this whole time? What did Zofia and Lisa die for? Justice. The work of the Vice Ritter, my work is for the future of humanity. Nothing short of saving the world. Saving the world? You say that, but the world is in quite a mess. One might even say that it looks like the world is about to end. No one can stop the end of the world. But there is no need to fear. The world may yet be saved after its end. Salvation will come. Enough with your stupid riddles. We're not your devoted followers. You can cut the bullshit. I do not suppose a witch could possibly understand what I'm trying to accomplish. You calling me stupid? Come a little closer and I'll carve that pretentious smile into your face with my knife. I will not allow that. What? Excuse me. Enough, Gabrielle. Yes, sir. Are you okay, Chalka? I got careless. But it's no big deal. Careless? No, that's not it. Gabrielle is clearly... Lord Theodore, what is her magical potential? Beyond measure. She has extraordinary power. Even before becoming a Venefica. There's no mistaking it. Yes, it is her. Amelie, could you please tell me once more, in detail, how your sister contracted the witch disease? Huh? Well... You're a sick bastard for making her dig up bad memories at a time like this. But I'm interested in the answer too, since it's how I was born. Tell him. Like I told you the first time, Milm went off by herself somewhere, and when she came back, she had the witch disease. And that is all you know? Hmm. Hey, I know. Why don't we ask Milm? Milm? Oh no. Now? Hundred Knight, face this way and open your stupid mouth. I got forced out again, huh? Hey, Milm. You were listening, weren't you? Tell us everything you remember from when you got the witch disease. Uh, I... I don't know. Tell... us. Uh, um... What?
What is going on? She transferred herself into another vessel? You can do it, Milm. Just whatever you can remember. Uh, okay. Um... That day... I... Um... I went somewhere. I wasn't supposed to go to get a present for Sissy. The Durga Badlands. Yeah, that's it. And when I was trying to pick a mana flower, I fell into a big pond. A pond in Durga? Did you fall into a mana gland? Uh... Yes? And then, what happened after? I don't know. When I woke up, I was floating in the pond. So you blacked out for the most important part. I think our audience would disagree. We had performed several experiments with mana glands. But I see the Durga Badlands. It was right under our noses all along. Now we finally have two. I must record this. Gabrielle, we will meet again at the place we discussed. I will leave them to you. What? Wait! You think we're just gonna let you walk away? I won't let you go after him. You're still loyal to your master even if he's gonna sacrifice you like a pawn? How pathetic. A sacrificed pawn? You seem to be misunderstanding. I am going to kill you all, then return to Lord Theodore's side. Well, I was planning on just roughing you up a bit, but now you pissed me off. Do you not realize how much more powerful we are than you? Your ignorance amuses me. What? I... I can't move! Choka! Now, don't any of you move either, okay? coming from uh, Gabrielle you've been using Lord Theodore's alchemy <laughs> of course I haven't I've never depended on alchemy once in my life until now I've been carefully suppressing my power because if I let it out even just a little this happens with this amount of magic you must be <laughs> a third eye? How? A transplanted eye shouldn't be able to open! I knew it! You're an awakened witch! Hmm, not quite. I am of the same cloth as Rangda. I am not a witch. I am a holy maiden. A maiden? Gabrielle, what are you talking about? I'm sorry I kept it secret. Even my name is a lie. My real name is... Francesca. Francesca? You're the master of Durga Castle? I am sure you must have many questions. But you do not have time for answers. Don't worry, there will be no pain. I will send you off in peace. <sighs> Damn it! Milm! What? Where's Milm? She's inside me again. There's a time limit on the soul transfer. 
Huh? Then... Hundred Knight, please, help me! What? Yeah! It broke my bond so easily. How about this, then? You still refuse to fall. What are you? No. It doesn't matter what you are. I'll extinguish that flame of yours permanently. Chilka, it was you. Gabrielle, you... <laughs> if I see you in another life, I will tell you all about it. Another life? Gabrielle, what? It's no use. She's already dead. Come, there's no time for mourning. If we let Theodore escape, he will take Karma with him, and we will never catch him. Let's go. We'll grab Karma from him and clear up all of this. Theodore! Where are you hiding, huh? He had to have taken the escape route in the basement. But you dipshit detectives couldn't find a single trace? I really wish you would stop blaming others for your own shortcomings. You lost sight of him, too. Besides, it was your meddling with magic that gave him the opportunity to get away in the first place. Sh shut up! Focus on finding Theodore. We need to get Karma. Come on, think! Bring out your puny brains! Do you remember what he said to Gabrielle right before he left? He said he was going to record this and then meet at a specific location. We know that. What are you getting at? The hidden room at Galbranch. Other than medical records, that place stored tons of documents and books. Maybe those are the records he was talking about. And the poem on the wall was the prophecy Theodore announced. If that is his recording... Then everything would make sense. Then we know where we must go. Now wait a minute. You're planning on sneaking into Galebranch. You're still wanted fugitives. So we just take out anyone in our way. No one can stop us. <sighs> you are the stupidest genius I know. Maybe Vasarita soldiers a fair game, but you cannot go around hurting innocent people. Just as long as Milm doesn't get in my way. Of course Milm would stop you from hurting innocent people. I'd stop you too. So what do you want me to do? Jump inside Hundred Knight's bag? That might not be the best idea. If Theodore has laid any traps for us, we will need Chelka at the ready. I do not think your little friend can handle Theodore's traps. Jeez, you people piss me off. Complain, complain, complain! If you're gonna shoot down everything, why don't you make a suggestion? When I went to the Shukra Caves before, I found a place that looked a lot like what I saw in the Gelb Branch basement. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue there. A hastily assembled plan. But still, if we mean to go, we should go now. He may have lost his holy Valkyries, 
But Theodore is still dangerous. We cannot allow him more time to prepare. Yeah, let's hurry. If he managed to make another Lisa, I don't know what I'd do. Wow, would you look at that? There's so much mana. This would be a perfect place for witches to live. I've heard that witches' souls gather here at midnight for some kind of dance. <laughs> Interesting. I was just thinking about throwing a midnight party myself. Here it is. The place that reminded me of Gelbranch is just through this hole. Chelka, you feel it, don't you? Faintly. Let's go inside. So, this is what's causing this weird feeling. Weird feeling? Oh, you mean the air in here? It is not the air, not precisely. It is the mana floating about. This mana is dense. It's compacted. It's like a boiled mana flower times a thousand. <laughs> I could do so many experiments here. There's no time for that. Our objective is to find Lord Theodore. Oh, come on. We're right here. When I was here last time, I didn't go past here. Maybe there's a path here that connects to Galbranch's basement. A path? It appears to be a dead end to me. True, but there could be a small cave opening or something here. Like you said, we don't have time for this. If we can't find a path, We'll make one. Guild branches... this way. A path? Wow! <laughs> Told you! No wall can stop me! Now, let's keep moving forward. gone pretty far in. Shh. Don't let your guard down, idiot! Uh, thank you. These monsters are much stronger than the ones outside. Don't tell me these are the chimeras that Theodore created. That would be terrifying. But it is possible that these creatures are native to these caves. This foreign mana. Let us call it Manithri. Perhaps they've been corrupted by it. Interesting. Interesting. Let's grab Karma as fast as we can so I can do some research here. Shelka doesn't even seem to care that she just saved me. Is that Milm's influence? Or is Chelka herself changing? What are you standing around for? I'll leave you behind if I have to. She came back for me, but she still talks to me like that. Don't smile at me like that. I hate it when you do that. Let's go. <laughs> huh? 
I found you! Oh. Well, this is unexpected. You're here, and yet you did not use the Gelb Branch's front entrance. Curious. You seem awfully at ease. You aren't surprised to see us here? I knew that Amelie had been to this room before. Knowing that, it was not too difficult to imagine you would soon find me. But I truly was shocked to hear that Francesca was defeated. Your face doesn't look very shocked. I should rip that creepy smirk right off it. <laughs> Pardon my amusement. I am simply happy. Happy? When I'm about to take karma from you and kill you? Karma is not here. I only came here to make a new entry in the records. What? Then where is it? I wonder. An earthquake? It's even worse down here! It seems I must make haste. This world will soon be welcoming its end. You still pretending to be a prophet? What the hell do you even mean by the end of the world anyway? Just what I said. Everything is soon to reach its end. <sighs> Enough with the prophet crap! That could mean anything! It is the end itself. The finality. An end you cannot escape. You mean death? If that's the case, why aren't you more afraid? Aren't cowards like you always worrying about death or whatever? But you didn't even blink an eye. And you're not even trying to stop it. Just what the hell is your deal? I doubt you would understand, even if I explained it to you as I would a child. Come in. What is this? The entire wall is covered in writing. This is beyond everything I've seen in all my years. This is the record of everything. You could not sound more pretentious if you tried. But anyway, I've got a lot of questions. But first, show us where your premonitions are written. If you aren't bullshitting, your prophecy about the end of the world should be written here somewhere, right? If I know what's gonna happen, then we've got nothing to fear. I can do something to stop it. <laughs> yes, indeed. You may be right. But that is not your destiny. In spite of your admirable dedication to your allies, you will give your power to me. I'm sorry, I must have something in my ear. I thought I heard you give me an order. But that couldn't be. Because people who give me orders usually wind up dead. I won't allow that. <laughs> I can't move. I recognize this magic. Impossible. How are you alive? Hundred Knight defeated you. Were you just pretending like Lisa? <laughs> nope, that's not it. Then explain yourself. Are holy maidens immortal? Or are you a chimera as well? I'm afraid we are under no obligation to tell you anything further. Francesca, bring Chelka to me. Right away. What? 
What are you doing to my body? Chelka! This makes two, including Karma. Another step closer to seeing our ideal world become reality. Let us go, Francesca. Yes. Damn it! Put me down! Wait! Milm is inside Chalka! My sister's soul! The obnoxious cow is right! Hundred Knight! Please! Save Chalka! Save Milm! What's wrong, Hundred Knight? Move! Please! Milm is going to be taken away! It's no use. It's lost consciousness. Even if it were awake, I doubt it could escape this bind. This level of magic is extraordinary. Even as a Venefica, I do not believe I could do it. No! If they take Milm... Uh, I can move? Oh, it appears that her magic is finally weakening, although it hardly helps us now. No, we have to find Milm. And if you don't find Lord Theodore, you won't be able to obtain karma. And if the world really is ending, we need to do whatever we can to stop it. I admire your enthusiasm. Go on and do it alone. I am going to retire here. Retire? What do you mean? It's as I told you. We cannot do anything more. You are not a true witch, so perhaps you do not yet understand. Francesca's power is... abnormal. She is not within our realm. Her power is otherworldly. She's even stronger than you? Not only that, Theodore has acquired Samsara. Wrong does I? When? Consider why they would abduct Chalka. That is why I insist there is nothing we can do. Theodore, Francesca, the end of the world. We do not have the power to stop even one of these. Even if that's true, I need to find Milm. I swore that I would never give up. For her sake. Do whatever you like. If a flower lives past its bloom, it becomes dried and ugly and withered. I do not want that to happen to me. I see. Then what are you planning to do? I'm going home. My people are waiting for me. The world is ending. It might not be so bad to send it off with a boot to Addis's face. I guess there's nothing I can say to change your mind. Sorry, but no. Well then, if you'll excuse me. There's no time to waste. Hundred Knight, wake up, Hundred Knight. It. Jeez, you're annoying. Hundred Knight is talking? Dolls can't talk, dumbass. Chalka! You used your soul transfer magic! That's right. Why didn't you say anything? The transfer didn't go right. My consciousness was really deep inside this thing. I was able to take control, but... I can't do anything but talk. You can't move? Nope. But if I retreat deep inside it, Hundred Knight can move around just fine. I see. With you inside, Hundred Knight is even more capable than usual. Stop talking and start thinking of a way to get my body back. Milm's body, you mean? Same thing. Seems Chalka really has changed. 
What? Uh, oh, I was just wondering where they took Milm. She's not close by. You know? I can feel my soul being pulled. It's trying to return to the body. But it's a weak connection. The body must be far away. So we need to go in whatever direction you feel the strongest pull from. True, but it's hard to tell which direction I'm being pulled in. Let's go home for now. We need to think of a plan. I don't want to let Milm go, but you're right. We need a plan. Oh no, poor Milm. And Prim ran off to go stomp on her boy toy and Chelkas like this. You got something you want to say to me, Turkey? Why don't you say it to my face? Oh, well, since you asked so nicely, you can't move in Hundred Knight's body, right? I could whoop your little plush butt and all you could do is cry. Uh, I never cry. Now's not the time to be fighting like children. How's the plan coming, Chelka? If there's anything I can do to help, I'll do it. Of course you will. Take me to the research room. <laughs> Hundred nights, sweetie. You could stand to lose a few pounds. What should we do next? Draw a magic circle on the ground exactly the way I describe. Like this? Yeah. Now, tie me up and hang me. Oh, Chelka. Uh, I'm not really into that kind of thing. Not like Prim is. Get your head out of the gutter, pervert. I need to be hanged so I can be the pendulum. The pendulum? Wait, are you talking about dowsing? Well, would you look at that? The turkey might actually have a brain cell or two inside there. I used to do it when hunting for rats. When you hang up a shiny ball of dirt, the rats crawl out of their holes and bite at it. That's not really dowsing, that's fishing. Same difference. Hurry up and hang me from the ceiling so I'm right in the center of the circle. Uh, okay. Okay, now swing me in a circle. That should draw out the power of the soul. And the circle will become an oval. Whatever direction the oval points should be where Milm is. Okay, I'm gonna swing you now. A soul pendulum. to change Ugh. what direction am I going um east and west harder toward the east though okay get me down are you okay Chelka Ugh. I feel sick Oh, here it is. Is that Milm's picture book? Why are you bringing that along? Isn't this Milm's most valuable possession? Yes. She used to take it everywhere. See, these sorts of things carry the feelings and the souls of their owners. So if we hang this up and swing it... 
It's swinging in an oval. Now, let's head east. From how it's swinging, Milm's pretty far away. Close to the edge. I'm coming too. Live or die, I want to do this together. Together. Take out the vial in the closet over there. A vial? Okay. There's a lot here. Which one? The one that says Abamectin. Abamectin. Oh, here it is. Ugh, it's all goopy. What is this? It's a drug that'll make you vomit up a magic parasite. You could get the stupid witch to drink it. We're going to get Prim? I don't know. But if you wanted to get her help, then I wouldn't stop you. Shoka. Alright, I'll think about it. Looks like we've got our plan now. Let's go! Stop! It seems like she's close. Milm is here. It's true. The picture book is reacting too. Prepare yourselves. I'd be fine, but you guys will be killed if you get caught. Yeah, we know. I'm coming, Milm. Of the Maiden Rongda's three eyes, we have Karma and Samsara. It took quite a long time, but it was worth the results. All that is left now is Nirvana. I sense it here. Yes, my maiden senses are tingling. Avidya, the land of the beginning of the end. The Earth's most powerful mana stems from here. There is no more perfect place to anchor Nirvana. Milm fell into a mana gland in Durga Badlands and came to host Samsara. This place may offer something even greater. Let us test. This time, we have Samsara. We may bear witness to something we have never seen before. I pray that is the case, to create our ideal world. Yes. When the time comes, we shall turn Milm into a Venefica. Samsara's host turning feral. I can't even imagine it. After we witness this historic event, it will be your job to record it. <laughs> I know. I will await your return in the Adursta Caves. Let us go. Hold it right there! <laughs> That's enough, Lord Theodore! Give Milm back to me! We're here, Milm, honey! <sighs> Open your mouth, Milm! <gasps> All right. <sighs> There's no place like home. The binding is loosening. Good. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready. Ready? What are we supposed to be ready for? Even if my magic has weakened, what are you planning to do with just one finger? You idiot! A finger is plenty! What? She's turning herself into a Benefica? Yeah, 
how you like that, bitches! She increased her power by pulling out her third eye just far enough to avoid becoming a Venefica. I was going to rip you to shreds, but it appears my subconscious went easy on you. It won't happen again! You underestimate the power of a holy maiden! <laughs> Samsara's Vinifica and the kin of a holy maiden. Two faces of the same terrifying beast. I won't let you get away! What? <laughs> After all that, he falls down a hole? You! Chelka! Not even Chelka stood a chance? I was patient with you until now, but this time you've gone too far. I will never forgive you. Damn it! Hey, obnoxious cow. Stupid turkey. <laughs> Too bad, dear. They can't hear you anymore. No! You obnoxious cow! Weren't you going to save Milm? How are you gonna do that if you're dead, huh? Are you going to leave Milm behind? Don't worry, she won't be alone. You will be joining her very soon. <sighs> Hundred Knight, where are you? Hurry up and come out! You can't let the obnoxious cow die! That little doll fell into the earth. You have no hope left. Stop struggling. Screw you! I will have my freedom! I will have unlimited freedom! I won't let anyone die! I won't let anyone kill me! I won't let you take one more thing from me! She's becoming a Venefica again? What is this? The beginning of the end. But a little early. Mmm, rain. Oh, weird color, though. What? <laughs> My, my, my body! Ah! What happened? He disappeared! Ah! What is going on here? A witch's curse? Or the end?
This is where it ends. All that's left is destruction and rebirth. Rebirth? Obnoxious cow! You have impressive vitality. I suppose you have earned your Holy Valkyrie title. Your tenacity is remarkable. I should have been able to crush you with a single blow. But here you are, holding on, fighting. For 333 years, I waited for this moment. And you have ruined it! I hate you! Ugh! All for nothing! Now I have to do it all again! Do not be so quick to lose hope, my child. Lord Theodore's voice... Where? The mana? No. Above us! Your forehead! Why? I thought only women... Your eye... It's the same as mine! Hmm... So you can sense it. Yes. This is Samsara. By touching the Manigland Abyss, Samsara was implanted in my head. <laughs> This is truly incredible. I can see the unseen. I can understand what man was never meant to understand. All truths exist to me in my eyes. There you go with that prophet crap again. So, Theodore knows the truth? Theodore! Do you know where Nirvana is? I do. The moment I became host to Samsara, all the memories that Karma possessed became mine. Nirvana is one. Nirvana is all. All can see it, and yet none can see it. I've got no patience for this! Where is Nirvana?! Raise your eyes and behold! What? Raise my eyes? Quinn and Mugen, wake up! Squawk! She's alive! My Manania would never be killed so easily. Let's go, Hoon and Mugen! Where? To the sky. Wait a minute, I, I haven't finished working on my flying magic, and... Don't worry. I stole some after we met that holy slut. Now, spread your wings! Squawk! I... I... I think I can fly! I can fly! I can fly, I can fly, I can fly! Everyone, get on! What? Me too? Whoa! Hey now! You're heavy! Whatever! Just fly! Go, Hoonan Mugen! Oh boy! <sighs> I knew it! Is that... And I? <laughs> no wonder no one could find it. The world itself is Nirvana. The eyelid. Is it just me, or does it look like it's opening? I get it. When the eye opens all the way, the world will end. 
Uh, guys, it's great and all that we discovered the secret of the universe and grown closer as friends and all, but I am at my limit here! Uh-oh. I guess that magic got used up faster than I expected. Huh? We're falling! Come on, Hunan Mugen! Uh, oh, boy! No, I can't! No, I can't! We're gonna fall! We're okay. Oh, Hoonan Mugen, thank God you're so fat. Sissy? Milm? You? Hundred Knight, are you okay? Lord Theodore! So you have seen it yourselves. The truth of this world. Yes. I can't believe we're living right on top of this horrible thing. <laughs> you humans don't understand anything. It's not horrible. There is nothing more beautiful. Lord Theodore, what are you planning to do with all three eyes? I hear a voice crying out. A voice that curses this world, hates us all, and grieves over the future. It is a nightmarish scream that has not ceased since the first human was born into this world. But this black scream will soon end. Very soon now, true silence will fall upon all creation. It is time for salvation. Everything in its right place. So destroying everything is salvation for you? That's the ideal world that you hoped for? You misunderstand. The ideal world is the one I will create after the rapture. A world you'll create? This world will die, only to be reborn. The cycle will continue forever. Rangda discovered salvation in this cycle. Kavala's divine work. But my creation will be different. With the power of the three eyes, I shall break the cycle. My creation shall be eternal. A beautiful, silent world. <laughs> What do you mean? Trapped within the karmic cycle, the gears of the great machine, humans have no choice but to fight and squabble. In the machine, sadness and suffering are inevitabilities. But why? What is the cause of it all? It is because we commune. It is our language. Which disease is merely a symptom of the illness of communication, which racks the world with its great evil? Language is a contagion, a plague that carries suffering and cruelty and evil from man to man. To erase the taint of discord, we will pluck the nidus of evil from its roots, and the world will know true silence. That is salvation. You're going to take language from people? But how will I tell Milm? Never fear, my child. In a world without language, you will not even have such thoughts. Fear and uncertainties will vanish. All will be equal. No more presuppositions or epithets. All will live as they are and die as they were meant to. Let us begin the salvation. What are you doing? 
I can feel it overflowing. Rhonda's magic power. All that is left now is Nirvana. Francesca, return to the Adursta Caves. You wouldn't want to be caught in the rapture and lose your chance to see the reborn world, would you? Thank you, Theodore. You, you're coming with me. <laughs> Get your hands off of her! Good girl. Now, let's go. No. Give Milm back to me! You still have the strength to stand. You continue to surprise me. But this ends now. be okay. Your sissy is gonna save you. I just need to hear your voice. Please, Milm, where are you? I can't see. Where are you, Milm? Call out to me. I am afraid you will never hear your sister's voice. Never again. Amelie. I feel that I owe you thanks. Your struggle, and everyone's struggle, is what led me here today. Now, Amelie, it is time for sleep. The eternal silence is upon us. Amelie! Milm. Don't cry, Milm. Sissy. I'll protect you. The Metagland Abyss. The pupil of Nirvana. Memory. Destruction. Creation. I will manifest these powers in my own hands. Now, the birth of a world of silence. <laughs>